tree. It comes with a premium design, so we have a new leather look back, so it makes it easier to grip and it feels much lighter to hold. You'll also see that there's a 5.7 inch high definition screen on it. There's a 2.3 quad core processor and three gigabytes of RAM, so it's brilliant for productivity, multimedia and gaming. Different features that we have here are the likes of Air Command. So with Air Command, you can bring up Air Command at any time using the button and pulling it up on the screen. Action Memo is the first thing I'm going to talk about here. So if I'm in Action Memo and I write, I scribble down What I can do here is choosing the link option. I can now select text, Oops. select text. And what I can do here is I can call that number or I can import it directly into my contacts. It will save then from there. The action window saves as a little floating icon so that you can use it again later. And you just tap on the icon to open it. If we press the little icon again, I can actually circle Dublin. So it gives you a full toolbar of things that you can do directly from the memo. If I press navigate, it will actually locate Dublin on the map. I can then navigate to there if I want to. I can go back into this and X out at any time. Or if I press the tick, it'll save it for future use. The next thing I'd like to talk about here now is if I bring up the action, the air command wheel again, is pen window. So what Pen Window allows you to do is draw a square anywhere on the screen, and it brings up a list of applications that you can use as floating applications. So say I pick Contacts, I can leave the floating window and move it around on the screen, and I can minimize it if I don't want to use it right now, and hide that in the corner. So if I go into Messages, my icons, here's some I did earlier, here's my calculator icon. Then I can minimize and use in it itself. You can open up as many pen, you can open up eight, eight pen windows as floating icons over the screen. So all you do is bring up your action wheel again and draw another little square and pick a different so you can use browser. So it's great if you're trying to search for something online while you're in a message. Another thing that we were talking about today is the advanced multitasking. So what I can do here now is I can pull out my gallery. So this is really taking advantage of the 2.3 quad core processor. What I can do is I can open up my gallery, but I can open up my messages also. Now what I can do is so, if I'm in gallery, I can select the blue button and I choose drag and drop. What that will allow me to do is choose an image from my gallery and drag it directly down into a message without having to go in and out of different applications. I can also, open the same application I can open the same application twice so what I can do here is I can move something from my videos folder into my images folder so again it's just advanced multitasking if I press on the button it creates a little Rolodex so I can switch back between the different applications itself so that's the Galaxy Note 3 13 megapixel camera with a BSI CMOS sensor, 2.3 quad core processor with 3 gigs of RAM, and it launched yesterday and is available from all stocks.